All right, this video goes out to Sonia Patel, and the question is formatting unable to see the entire sheet for graph in dashboard. Okay, what happens here is you just simply haven't got enough space for what you're trying to show, right? So let me show you a few things when it comes to dashboards that'll help you adjust. So I'm gonna put uh, just some quick dashboards together. So I'm just gonna double click all of these. All right, so I've got all these dashboards. Now, when something is too small in terms of space, it really just can't display it. It's just one of the things with Tableau. It's kind of good and bad in a way. The, the bad news is you can't put everything you want. But the good news is sometimes you don't need to. When it comes to dashboards and communication, right, that's really what we're trying to do. Now, if you're an analyst like me, the whole idea is you have all this information. You're trying to condense it down so that you can explain it to someone so that they can take action. Now, if I put way too much stuff on the dashboard, which I see a lot of beginners do, it just overwhelms the reader. Um, they don't know what to focus on. Um, they could misinterpret what you're actually trying to say, or it opens you up for attack. And the last one is kind of, you know, happens a lot because they'll see something that you haven't covered and they're like, well, how come that's inconsistent with that? Then your credibility comes into play. So there's a lot of things you'll learn as you go along. But for now, what we'll do is we'll cover the dashboard design. So anything you don't need in a dashboard, get rid of it. And anything that is like a secondary question, build another dashboard, right? For example, let's say in the meeting, you're gonna discuss this point. Well, you don't need to put the, the breakdown of that point in this one, just build another dashboard, right? And you can also obviously add your filtering, all the interactivity, um, that you want as well. Um, the other thing I would adjust, and most people, I think most beginners miss this, is adjust the actual ratio of this dashboard, right? So you can go in here, and usually what I do is a starting point, is I just go A3 landscape, right? And straight away, you're gonna have significantly more space. What I also notice is that usually in companies that I've been with, um, everyone's got monitors. It's kind of a standard these days. Um, you'd be hard pressed to find companies, unless it's obviously a startup, where they don't have access to at least one large monitor. So A3 is a good starting point, but what you'll find later on is that when people start consuming your data on Tableau Online or Tableau Server, you actually have some extra white space. So you can actually bump this up. I think I tend to use about 1800 to maybe even 1200 in some cases, right? To really maximize that screen real estate. The next thing I do is I get rid of anything I don't need. So filters that I don't need, I'll get rid of maybe colors. If I have anything like this, I'll convert it to a floating, right? And just put it over where it's relevant, right? So maybe, I think it's here. No, sorry, it's for this one, right? So I'll put it, you know, maybe somewhere up here, get rid of the title and arrange it single row. Okay. Something, something like that. At least then I can maximize the space and also that color only applies to this visualization so let's say i can do that for the rest of them right keep anything that you need to keep or just move them around so again we're max we're trying to maximize the space right so i'm just going to pretend i've put this in the right areas all right so now we have this uh, this one's taking up way too much space so you probably don't need that much space okay here we go. And this one, it's got individual dates. We probably don't need individual dates. We can probably be happy with, you know, years, maybe something like that. Make it discrete so it's all even. Go entire view. All right, little touches like this. And dashboard five. Okay, we go entire view, which means now we can kind of compress this a little bit. All right, like so. All right. And from there, I mean, look how much extra space you have now to do other things if you need to. So, Sonia, in your example, from the looks of it, the graphic itself is way too big for what you're trying to display. So just give it extra space, but also consider that you don't want to overload the reader. All right. So those are just some tips on dashboard design. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.